uh, I think I was, I was reflecting on that a little bit in anticipation for our, our Christmas celebration uh, here at our masses. And it's the, the, all of the figurines obviously are sort of frozen in time. And we can kind of uh, think of that as sort of what we're doing tonight is just remembering sort of this event that took place 2,000 years ago. And of course, that is one of the things that we're doing. But as I was sort of reflecting and, and trying to think about, you know, maybe what is, it, what is it that Christmas is an invitation for me to do? What is it that, that is a, an invitation for all of us uh, as Catholics to, to do? Is it, is, it, is it calling us to something uh, in our own day as well? Or are we just simply staring and thinking about event that, an event that happened in the past? I think one of the things then that I, as, as I was thinking about that, uh, obviously I think one of the things that we are called to do as Catholics uh, is to um, not just watch and, and look at it and remember when Christ was brought into the world in Bethlehem, but also I think the challenge for us is to recognize that we too, through an amazing gift of God, God has chosen to place into our hands the ability to also bring Christ into the world in, in new ways. Pope Francis keeps using that phrase, we're called to, to bring Christ to people in new ways. And I think that that's obviously then maybe a potential thing for us to think about tonight as well. Christ has placed it in our power, in our hands, to bring himself to places in the world where he is not present in the way that he could be if we brought him to birth. We are called then in a way, in a metaphorical way, to, to literally birth Christ, to give birth to Christ into different corners of the world where maybe sometimes if it doesn't come through you, it's not going to happen. Christ could have just brushed us out of the way and God could have just brushed us out of the way and said, you know, don't worry about this, I've got it, I'll do it, I'll handle it. You just sit around and pray. But he instead, God says, I want you to go to the corners of the world and bring light to the people, bring Christ to people, literally make Christ flesh in a place where he's not otherwise. I was thinking today, uh, thinking, in, in thinking about that this week earlier, we had a mass, uh, we have a great prison ministry outreach that a lot of parishioners are involved in. They do amazing work with our prisoners um, and, and inmates there at Putnamville Correctional. And we were having a mass this, this, on Monday in an old maintenance garage, and uh, the, 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 the heating and air conditioning thing was just you know, whirring 100 miles an hour, and you could hardly hear. We were yelling, and there was guards coming in and out and all of these things. But I was thinking about, you know, what a grace and what a gift that God has given me in this moment to be able to bring Christ to these men and to this place where if it didn't happen through me, in that moment, it wouldn't have happened. And I'm not like exalting myself over that because, again, we all have those opportunities and there's many times where I failed to do that as well, where I failed to bring Christ into a situation or uh, whatever it may be where God was asking me to do that. And so it's sort of like we read in one of our other masses uh, that we have on Christmas, we talk about, we hear that reading from John where it says, Christ, the light has pierced the darkness and darkness is not overcome the light. It's, it, it's as if, in a way, we're all sort of like a light on a, on a Christmas strand of lights. And we're called to be that light. Along with our brothers and sisters, along with everyone here, we're called to pierce the darkness, to bring Christ into whatever situations it is that we find ourselves all the time. And so it might be that you're in school, or you're a young person, and it, it, it bringing Christ to your friends, or someone who's in need, or someone who's alone, it might be parents bringing, bringing Christ to uh, the sick or to your children. We are all called to go out and serve the poor and bring Christ to them, to give birth to Christ to them in their life. It might be someone who's older, who doesn't have anyone, someone at a nursing home. All of these infinite number of ways, we're called to do that. We're called to bring Christ to life where Christ has chosen to give us the power to not do that too, if we so choose. And so this beautiful night where we celebrate again the birth of Christ, we take a moment to turn inside and ask ourselves before God, where is it, Lord, that you're asking me to do this again? Where is it that you're asking me today and, and every day of my life? And indeed, that should probably be our prayer each moment and every hour if we can think of it. Where are you calling me this hour, Lord, to bring you? 
to bring you to life, and then help me to do that. No matter the difficulty, no matter the personal cost to myself, no matter what it may be, we pray that we may have the power to bring to birth our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. As we gather around this altar and we gather in prayer, we pray that we may do that. We may be, be strengthened and have the courage and, and all of the gifts that we need in order to bring the light into the darkness that so desperately needs the good news of our Lord Jesus Christ.